In the primordial depths of Tartarus, where darkness reigned supreme and the echoes of ancient battles reverberated through the void, there dwelled a colossal being of unimaginable power and ferocity. Gyges, one of the three centimanes, stood as a testament to the raw and untamed forces that shaped the cosmos. With fifty heads, each adorned with a gaping maw filled with razor-sharp teeth, and one hundred arms, each capable of wielding a mountain, Gyges was a sight to behold. His skin was as black as the abyss, and his eyes glowed with an infernal fire that could pierce through the darkest of nights. Legend had it that Gyges and his brethren, Briareos and Cotus, were born from the union of Uranus, the primordial sky god, and Gaia, the earth mother. Their immense size and strength made them feared by both gods and mortals alike. When the Titans, led by Cronus, rose up against their father, Uranus, the Centimanes remained loyal to the old order. They fought valiantly alongside the Olympians, hurling boulders and wielding their mighty arms with devastating force. After the Titans were defeated and cast into Tartarus, the Centimanes were tasked with guarding the gates of the underworld. They stood as silent sentinels, their hundred arms forever entwined, preventing any escape from the realm of the dead. But Gyges was not content with his role as a mere guardian. He yearned for freedom and the chance to unleash his true power upon the world. One fateful day, he broke free from his chains and emerged from Tartarus, his thunderous footsteps shaking the very foundations of the earth. As he strode across the land, Gyges left a trail of destruction in his wake. Mountains crumbled before his might, and rivers were diverted by his colossal arms. The gods and mortals alike trembled at his approach, knowing that they were facing a force that could not be contained. Zeus, the king of the gods, summoned his fellow Olympians to confront Gyges. A fierce battle ensued, the heavens ablaze with lightning and the earth trembling beneath their feet. But even the combined might of the gods proved insufficient to defeat the colossal giant. In desperation, Zeus turned to his father, Cronus, who had been imprisoned in Tartarus. Cronus revealed that Gyges could only be defeated by a weapon forged from the heart of a star. With the help of Hephaestus, the god of fire, Zeus crafted a celestial spear that radiated with an otherworldly glow. Armed with this weapon, he returned to the battlefield and confronted Gyges once more. A titanic clash ensued, the ground beneath their feet shattering into a thousand pieces. Finally, Zeus hurled the celestial spear with all his might, piercing Gyges' heart. The giant roared in agony as his body crumbled into dust, his fifty heads and one hundred arms vanishing into nothingness. With Gyges' defeat, the threat to the world was averted. The Olympians returned to their celestial abode, their victory hard won but secure. And so, the legend of Gyges, the colossal giant with fifty heads and one hundred arms, was passed down through generations, a tale of immense power and the indomitable spirit of the gods.